The chaotic, almost jubilant scenes outside the Qatar Financial Center on Saturday, in keeping with the widely held view that Salman Butt, Muhammad Amir and Muhammad Asif hadn't received the harsh punishment many were expecting. Butt was banned for 10 years with five years suspended. Asif was given a seven-year ban with two suspended, while Amir was banned for five years. Indeed, in their judgment, the three-man tribunal said if they'd been allowed to, they would have handed down an even lighter sentence. The tribunal has recommended to the ICC certain changes to the code with a view to providing flexibility in relation to minimum sentences in exceptional circumstances. The judgment looks likely to end the international careers of the 26-year-old Salman Butt and Mohammed Asif, who's 28. But for the 18-year-old Mohammed Amir, his career is still very much in its infancy and his lawyers say he'll continue to fight to clear his name. On Sunday, having had a day to digest the judgment, the ICC's chief executive insisted the process hadn't been a waste of time and money. I think the fact that we've successfully convicted the three players uh, based upon the evidence that we had collected, uh, there's a sanction that's been meted out uh, and I think the message is loud and clear. Well, the next big date for the trio is March the 17th when all three will appear before a UK magistrate charged with accepting and obtaining corrupt payments. But as for the ICC, well, this was the first time, remember, that they themselves had prosecuted a corruption case. Did the punishment that was handed out on Saturday really send out the strong message that they were looking for? Well, it seems the jury is still very much out on that. Rahul Pathak, Al Jazeera, Doha.